Hey, what up, you guys? It's me, Dev, on 991kggifm.com. What up, what up? It is ODM, voice of the IE. You're on ODM's party bus right now, and so is she. Her name is Dev Caliente. Hi. And how's mommy life? It's awesome. Thank you. It's been good. She's two now, my daughter. Okay. She's crazy. Um, What's her name? Emilia. And this is your first and only? Yes. So far? So far. <laughs> you plan yeah. to have more? Just her for right now. You took her on tour with you, right? Or was it the first couple years? Or? Yeah, no, I think when she... She spent a, uh, a couple months in the NICU, and as soon as she was released, because she was all good... I, in the what? In the NICU. The What's newborn that? ICU. She had, like, a couple surgeries and stuff the after NICU. she was born. Yeah, it's a... Uh, that's what they call it, for sure. <laughs> but she spent time in there. And then she came on the, the tour bus with me. Yeah, she was, like, five months. Man, I can imagine what was going through, beating through her little, you know, chest, like mm -hmm. just hearing your music nonstop. Totally. Yeah, she thinks she sings now and raps and skateboards, and now she's all crazy. It's she awesome. Skateboards at two years old? Yeah, well, she thinks she does. Yeah, she <laughs> does, she does a pretty decent job, though. I'll give her that. She does. Let's talk about your music. Um, you took a couple years off, obviously, because of the baby, but you've done a couple features since then. Yeah, I, you know, I in the dark came out, and in 2012 I toured, and then all of last year I really just spent um, in the studio. Yeah, pretty much for the whole year. So I finally have new music. And she's got one of the hottest rappers on her new single right now. Let's talk about that, Miss Caliente. Tell you telling everybody to kiss it or just one person? Um, no, I'm telling everybody to kiss it. <laughs> and yeah, it's featuring Sage, who I love and have a lot of respect for. Um, and I think his voice sounds awesome on the record. Oh. So it was it was a good fit. He definitely mm -hmm. sounds dope on hooks. And you just finished a remix too, or not a remix, but you threw a. Um, Casey Veggie's on it. Yes, yeah. Casey's the, the homie. I love everything he does, too, and I met him through my fiancé. And, um, yeah, he came through the studio and did the verse, and I think it sounds awesome, too. So it was cool to work with both of those guys. I'd never worked with them before. Um, so, yeah, shout out to both of them. And you're still involved with the Cataracts, as we spoke earlier? Yeah, I worked a little bit with David, um, who used to be in the Cataracts or, or whatever, but he, um, we did some writing on a couple of records together, which has been cool. It's always love to them. I mean, everything, you know, we went through so much together. So. You guys made magic together. Yeah, always. So it's always love. Um, heard some of your new music, by the way. Bangers. Check out for that. I did notice a lot of mid-tempo, kind of, you know, mm -hmm. bouncy beats. Mm -hmm. But maybe I think there was one up-tempo. Are you going to do any more up-tempo mm -hmm. songs? No, I think, like, uh, the one that you heard is so far the only up-tempo. The rest are mid-tempo, which I think um, I needed to do. I think everybody kind of always you know, knew me for the up-tempo records that I did, and I'm going to mix it up a little bit. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word ratchet? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just throw a random word there. Um, <laughs> oh, no. I mean, the first thing, just basic stuff, like, you know, like strip clubs. People okay. like to go and get ratchet there. But, I mean, you could get ratchet anywhere, really, sure. at the crib. Right. Mainly mm -hmm. at the crib. What's the first celebrity that comes to mind when you hear the word ratchet? Um, probably like Juicy J or like Mike Will and stuff in in a good way in in a good way because I obviously love both of them but you know they kind of put on for that whole like on a mainstream level right now they put the whole yeah. see how she totally does around that went to the males like there was no females that came to mind because I mean yeah I guess Miley you could say okay. right yeah. yeah. Because she point. did that, yeah, in a good way, too, because, I mean, she looks hot being ratchet. How many tattoos do you have? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, like, I don't even know, like 13, 15. You just got this one, right, about five months ago? Yeah, I just got this one. And that says what? Good riddance to bad rubbish. My fiancé also has this thing tattooed, and the same guy did it, Norm. Shout out to Norm. Hi, Norm. What's up, Norm? <laughs> and, and Norm just completed uh, another one, which was most recent, on your thigh? Yes, on my thigh. So I have this writing, like, right here. Okay. So are, are we going to continue to go lower to the calves? Or where we no, going? probably not. Um, I was just feeling myself. And so... <laughs> Literally? <laughs> on the <a> thigh? <laughs> and got that done. So, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, um, I'm going to, like, make it look... 
like a little bit more of a piece. And but you're, you're like half Latina, right? So yeah. you gotta get one on the neck, you know what I'm saying? Actually, I actually am gonna get one on my neck, but it's gonna be really cute and small and secret. But I am gonna do that. You just reminded me, I have to call Norm again. Okay. Call Norm. My ex is a dodge, I'm like no ramps. Race into that money and that no ramps. Huh?